Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Happy Saturday. I wanted to begin this video by giving a brief shout out to the people that have led me down this path of research, beginning with Autodidactic. Check out his channels, Autodidactic and Autodidactic 2. We also have the Thunderbolts project, which I've discovered recently, but they put a lot of complicated information into layman's terms and I really enjoy their videos. We also have Divergent. This man is on his own level. He lives in his own world and he makes really aggressive but informative videos. And finally, I wanna shout out Paul Cook, one of the coolest guys on YouTube. He actually just made a video about India that released today. And in an odd sort of synchronicity, I'm also going to be discussing India in my first video that I put out on the subject, I tried to focus mainly on the palaces that could be found throughout India that lent themselves to a sort of old world or nearly impossible construction or a construction that was very elaborate for its time. In this video, I'm going to be focusing more on old world photography and the black and white or the oldest photographs of India that I could find. I'll begin with this photograph, which is of Queen Elizabeth addressing India in 1961. And Queen Elizabeth was the first of the royal family to visit India after India declared its independence. This is just going to be a random collection of photographs of India that I hadn't seen before, but I thought were pretty important or very interesting. This is a young woman from an Indian royal family. There's a lot more photographs depicting royalty, including battle elephants. Next, I want to focus on this structure here. I think this might be the most revealing of all the photographs included in this segment. And that is because first of all, you have this massive water retaining wall that this structure lies on. And my first question is when was that retaining wall built? Now you have boats below and there is no dock here. So I wonder about the layout of this building because the boats appear to be docked here yet they have no way to access the land above unless they would basically get out of the boat and swim. So wondering how that is efficient for use. But if we focus on the actual building on top is where we get to the real meat and potatoes of what I want to talk about. You'll see two different colors here. And a lot of people would probably tell you that is just a shadow being cast on the building. But if you're familiar with what this building is, which is the gateway to India in Bombay, you'll know that there's no other structure around that would cast a shadow like that. So we can only ask ourselves, is this proof that this gateway was built in two different segments or that the darker section was built previously? Or is this evidence possibly that the bottom of the gateway was pre-existing in nature as if it could have been dug out and that is why it's so much darker than the construction above. Now, I looked into this a little bit and all I could find for construction photographs were this, which is supposed to be the area before the gateway existed. And then every other construction photograph I found was like this one, where the larger part of the arcway was already built. This is, of course, the gateway to India in Bombay that they say was built in the early 1900s. Now, all later renditions of the photographs show the building as the same color or the same tone. So just very interesting how the early photographs seem to leave a different narrative behind. Just the overall 
grandeur and massive nature of these buildings as well as look at these archways here that are all filled in i believe that a lot of india at least in these major cities were buildings that were all interconnected But to understand the true purpose and how these buildings were designed is still something that we're striving for. Which also leads me to my idea that maybe a lot of these cities in India were a lot larger complexes that really were attached to one another, whether it be below ground or at the time maybe it was above ground and was only buried by cataclysms. I do believe that the similar style and size of the archways on all the buildings as if they were manufactured is certainly indicative to me that there could be a bigger picture here that we are still missing.
I just want to address some of the comments that I got about the water forts and palaces of India. Because these palaces were actually built before the water was there, or they drained these areas and or redirected water to create these areas. And I just found that to be fascinating, if true. So I plan to do a lot more research on the subject of cities being built on the water. But what I found to be super interesting is we actually do have confirmed reports of many of these water palaces being built on areas that were either drained and then the palace was built or the palace was built first and then entire rivers or streams were redirected to supply these palaces with water to make them seem like underwater palaces. And you'll find even in the larger forts around India and the larger star cities around India, different photographs that could also lend to that narrative. Another thing that's interesting is a lot of these Indian superstructures or old world structures are built on tells. And even the word tell is just so ridiculous for the English language. A tell is supposed to be like a earthen mound, basically an earth mound that was built by a previous civilization and then current civilizations build on top of it. And they call it a tell. Now, think about poker and think about a tell. I mean, just think about the word tell. It's basically revealing what you don't want revealed. It's, it's, it's a sign that tells people something that they're not supposed to know. And we're told that these old world Indian castles and structures that are basically um, elevated are built on tells or built on areas that were built up by previous civilizations. So in conclusion, I just wanted to share these new to me, black and white and old world pictures of India. I also want to pose the question of how do you believe that these buildings and superstructures were constructed? Thank you for being here. Please leave your thoughts and comments below and I'll see you on the next video.